Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last two videos, I've shown you how to do CPMD, car parallel nano molecular dynamics calculation using CP.x in Quantum Espresso. And I have shown you how to do the NVE ensemble calculation and how to add a thermostat and do NVT ensemble calculation. Actually, not many people know that CP.x can do more than that. Yeah, It can do the conventional Born-Oppenheimer molecular dynamics, BOMD. And in this video, I will show you how to do BOMD in NVE ensemble. And the BOMD calculation in CP.x is actually quite similar to the molecular dynamics if you calculate using PW.x that they all diagonalize the ground state every ionic step to calculate the force and then move the ions accordingly using the Newton's laws. Actually, everything is quite similar as the CPMD calculation and we still have the same steps except that we need to change the electron dynamics to be CG, which means conjugate gradient, that is the full diagonalization. So the first step, as usual, we need to relax the electrons, and the second step is to add some random displacement on the electrons to start the system into a higher energy state, otherwise the system will stay in equilibrium without moving. And the third step is the molecular dynamics calculation, and we use CG, which means that every ionic step we use CG method to diagonalize the ground state and get the force, similar as the one that we use in PW.x. Just as a side note, the command to run all of the input files are the same, that is CP.x. So I will walk you through the input files. For the first step, it is the electronic relaxation. All of them are the same as in the CPMD NVE calculation, except that we need to change the electron dynamics to CG, conjugate gradient. Okay. And then the second step is to randomly displace the atoms a little bit, and that is added by this line here, that we randomize the atomic positions with the amplitude of 0.03, and 0.03 is consistent with what we did in the CPMD calculation, so we can compare the result actually. If you set the amplitude to be higher, the system is more perturbed from the ground state, so you, it will have more energy, resulting in higher temperature in the NVE calculation. And actually, because we diagonalize the ground state every step, in principle we don't need the step 1, and we can just skip it, and then change this to from scratch. Then we start with step 2. Okay. And then the third step is actually the molecular dynamics calculation, and here there are several things that we changed. The first thing to notice is that we change the electron dynamics to BCG, so we solve the electronic ground state every ionic step, and also we have to remove the line here about the E mass, that is the fictitious mass, because now we don't need the fictitious mass. Because we solve the ground state every ionic step in bone oppenheimer molecular dynamics, actually we can afford a larger time step. So here we can increase the time step to be 40, and we lower the number of steps to keep the total simulation time. And then we lower I print to 1 because we want to record every step, the reason is that we increase the time step, so we want to record more densely, and we save the wave function every 20 steps. This is because in BOMD, one step is much more time consuming than CPMD, so we save more often, in case we want to restart from an interrupted run. And the ion dynamics is still valid. Just to remember that after the relaxation and before the actual molecular dynamics calculation, you need to set the velocity to be zero. And then, let me show you the output in the output directory and the important file is here silicon.evp and you see that the second column is the time in picosecond and the fifth column is the temperature and sixth column is the total energy so we can actually plot that we go to the terminal genu plot and this time we not only want to plot temperature but also want to compare it with the previous CPMD NVE calculation. So we use this line of code here and this is the result. And you see that the green line is the CPMD calculation and the blue line is the BOMD calculation. They are nearly on top of each other, which means that those two calculations are actually equivalent if the parameters are chosen correctly. Notice that here in the CPMD calculation, we only record one data point every 10 steps. So in reality, the CPMD steps is much more dense than the BOMD one, and this is necessary. Okay, so in this video, I've shown you how to do a BOMD calculation using CP.x in NVE Ensemble. And in the next video, I will show you how to turn on a the thermostat and do NVT Ensemble of BOMD calculation. 
So if you learned something from my video, I appreciate your like or subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time.